This episode of Against the Odds is brought to you by Card Kingdom. To pick up the deck and support the show, follow the link in the description box down below. Hello everyone, it's Seth, probably better known as Saffron Olive, and it's time for another edition of Against the Odds. So last week, we had an all-Kamigawa Against Odds poll, and I think we're going to do another one this week, because as soon as I put up the poll, I knew what was going to win. And I was kind of dreading it. It was one with nothing. An infamously horrible card, literally known as one of the worst cards in Magic's history, at least one of the worst cards in modern. One mana instant, discard your hand. Those three iconically horrible words. So we're heading to modern to see if we can actually make one with nothing into at least a semi-playable card in the format. So that's the plan for today. If you wanted one of the other spicy Kamigawa options, don't worry, like I said, second Kamigawa poll without one with nothing this week. So you got another shot to vote for a spicy Kamigawa card. Anyway, a quick reminder before we break down one with nothing for modern. If you enjoy this deck and you enjoy against the odds in general, it would be amazing of you if you take a second, click that subscribe button down at the bottom of your screen. It's a great way to support the channel and the site for free. So let's talk one with nothing, starting with... <laughs> our namesake card, one with nothing. So as I mentioned in the intro, it's really simple. One mana, instant speed, you discard your hand. How could this card possibly ever be useful? And uh, it takes a little bit of work, but there are some things we can do with this card. So obviously, uh, since our namesake card, our key card, our winning card, makes us discard our hand, we need ways to take advantage of getting cards in our graveyard. So for this, we have a few options that aren't really all that janky. Arclight Phoenix, you probably know what this one does. Comes back from the graveyard for free if we can cast three spells. Kinda synergistic with one with nothing, which is a one mana spell. <laughs> Despite all of its jankiness, it is plus one spell towards Arclight Phoenix. And then Prized Amalgam and Bloodgast, these cards work kinda well together. There are more creatures that we want in the graveyard that can come back for free. Bloodgast when we play a land, prized amalgam when we get back our Bloodgast or our Arclight Phoenix. Uh, so step one of our deck is getting these cards in our graveyard, and that's what one with nothing, along with some other options that we'll talk about in a minute, is four. So we could just have a handful of Arclight Phoenixes, prized amalgam, Bloodgast, play one with nothing, they all go into the graveyard right away, and then hopefully we can get them back. So as far as getting them back from the graveyard, we got some tricks to actually make it work. So the the main, <laughs> the main combo here is Infernal Tutor, Noxious Revival, one win nothing. So Infernal Tutor, one win nothing is actually sort of similar to a trick we see in Legacy. Inferno Tutor is a two mana tutor, except it has a drawback. As long as you have a card in hand, you can only tutor for a card that's already in your hand. On the other side, if you have zero cards in hand, it's just a straight up demonic tutor in modern. Two mana, tutor for any card. So the trick is actually pretty simple here. So let's say we have our Infernal Tutor, we have our one with nothing. What we do is for two mana, we cast one with nothing. We maintain priority. So with Inferno Tutor on the stack, we one with nothing. So one with nothing resolves. We discard our entire hand. Hopefully a handful of Arclight Phoenixes, Prized Abalgabs, Bloodgast, and then Inferno Tutor resolves. When it resolves, we have no cards in hand, so we get to tutor for anything, and then we can tutor for any number of options depending on the situation, but the main plan is not Noxious Revival, which is free, well, we gotta pay two life for it, and puts a card from our graveyard on top of our library, which means we can put back whatever, but probably Inferno Tutor. So then we draw Inferno Tutor the next turn, and can again empty-handedly tutor up anything we want. More importantly, this is three spells. So let's say on turn three, we only need three mana, we can Inferno Tutor, one with nothing, two, let one with nothing resolve, discard all of our graveyard stuff, let Inferno Tutor resolve, get Noxious Revival, cast Noxious Revival, get back Inferno Tutor our deck, three spells, that means all of our arc lights are coming back with haste, and that's triggering all of our prized amalgams. If we got a fetch land in the mix, maybe we can even figure out a way to get back some blood gas that turn. So a really powerful sequence of events that can essentially get back a ton of creatures for free really early in the game. We also have one copy of Shadow of a Grave. This is kind of another combo 
gamble with one with nothing we can just one with nothing discard all of our stuff shadow of the grave get all of our stuff back uh not a ton of value to be had there but it does offer some nice potential with all of our discard spells then we have kind of our backup plan for triggering three spells to get back our arc light phoenix which is fiery tempered albs of the vein two cards that madness for three damage or life loss to our opponent for just one mana so again here with three mana that's kind of the key number uh, we can on turn number three have a handful with eh, fiery tempers alms of the vein hopefully some arc lights and prized amalgams one with nothing for one mana discard our hand fiery temper alms of the vein are gonna madness so for one mana each we can cast those again that's three spells get back all of our stuff from the graveyard and we're hitting our opponent for six with alms of the vein and fiery temper so kind of a backup way to get our stuff back from the graveyard also since we're madnessing we have asylum visitor which is kind of like a cool combo with one with nothing it's sort of a bad version of dark confidant but with madness so first off we can just discard it to one with nothing cast it for free secondly it cares about us having zero cards in hand and then we get to draw an extra card and lose a life well one with nothing gets us empty handed so this is a way we can rebuild post one with nothing keep drawing more cards refuel get more action win the game otherwise our backup graveyard stalkers burning inquiry one mana very random faithless looting one mana not quite as powerful as burning inquiry but way less random so these cards if we don't have our one with nothing they dig through a deck to find it also they just fill our graveyard with our blood gas our arc light phoenixes our prized amalgams mana base wise a bunch of fetch lands some shock lands a fast land some basic lands sideboard lots of ways to protect our graveyard ancient grudge ray revelation destructive revelry to get rid of artifacts and enchantments ley lines relic of progenitus tormod script all that stuff because we need our graveyard active ley line to the void to fight our opponent's graveyard especially important because we have burning inquiry which fills our opponent's graveyard lightning axe and collective brutality some removal and discard some blood moons eh, just to jank them out and that is one with nothing for modern and that's our against the odds deck for this week so is this actually gonna work and I think the answer is maybe. My main hope is that one with nothing actually does something. I know that Arclight Phoenix can win games. I know Prize of Melga Blood Gas, that's a fine package, but what I really want to see is crazy stuff with one with nothing, Inferno Tutor, Alms of the Veins. Honestly, I'm going to be happy if we can do crazy things with one with nothing, even if we end up getting blown out by Graveyard Hate or something, just to prove in concept that one with nothing can actually do explosive things and sort of work in modern so that's our goal this is one of the hardest cards we have ever tried to build around it against odds literally about as bad as it gets in all of magic so if we can do anything even slightly cool with one with nothing then we're gonna feel like winners so that's our hope i'm not expecting us to do insanely well or anything but if we can do anything sweet with one with nothing we're gonna count it as a win so fingers crossed that it actually works out anyway that's the deck let's get to the gameplay see how it works thank you for watching enjoy the gameplay and i'll be back in a bit with a wrap up all right against the odds time we are playing some one with nothing in modern and uh this sounds fine. No one with nothing, but eh, we got a looting. I mean, discard Alms of the Vein. Work towards this Infernal Tutor. Uh, all right, so we're on the play. Let's just Bloodstained Mire, Goo. Opponent, Black Cleave Cliffs. And passes. Well, crack Bloodstained Mire. Grab a Blood Crypt. Tapped. All right, we untap. Play a Black Cleave Cliffs. Play a Faithless Looting. Hmm. Discard Arclight Prized Amalgam. Pass the turn. Oh, we need, like, Faithless Looting Burning Inquiry. Something like that. Or, actually, One With Nothing would do it. One With Nothing would be pretty good here. Bone it. Faithless Looting. We just need some way to discard these Madness cards, basically. Okay, World Spine Worm. Sure. Uh, opponent's doing unfair stuff. Bloodstained Mire. And passes. I'll play Overground Tomb untapped. Play Faithless Looting. Discard two Arc Lights. Well, next turn is a good turn. It is not quite lethal, but it's close. We'll see what our opponent has. We could just be got here. Opponent cracks Bloodstained Mire. We can deal 369 12. Man. If we draw a land, we can deal 18? Or 16. Oh, seven. Oh, we are so close. We are so close. Temple of Malice. 
Well, we'll see. Opponent passes. Infernal Tutor. So we Faithless Looting. Discard. <sighs> hmm. Prized Amalgam. Alms of the Vein. Madness Alms of the Vein. Hit our opponent. Noxious Revival. For Faithless Looting. Go to combat. Triple Arc Lights. Double Prized Amalgam. And this is without one with nothing. Attack with everything. Hit our opponent. Well, I mean, can you kill us this turn, opponent? Opponent is down to five. Untaps. Swamp. Spirit Guide. Cathartic Reunion for World's Bind Worm. I mean, reanimating World's... Oh, they have a Grizzle Brand. Oh, they hit it. Okay. Manamorphose. Are they digging desperately for Gorio's Vengeance, or do they have it? Pwn it. Oh, they have it. All right. Gorio. Well, we'll see. They get one draw with Grizzlebrand, assuming they don't hit their combo pieces. Well, here they come. Hits us. Grizzlebrand. Still dead next turn if they can't gain even more life. All right. What do you got, opponent? Draws. Gets their one look. Draws seven. They need Nourishing Shoal. <sighs> Spirit Guide Faithless Looting. Okay. Do they find it? Whoo, they don't find it, and it was enough. It was enough. Next turn, we could have just double Alms of the Vein for the win. Well, opponent, we know what they're doing. They're Gorio's Vengeance saying, uh, we bring in four lane lines. That's our main plan. Uh, go up four lane lines, go down Asylum Visitor, Shadow of the Grave, Inferno Tutor, and I guess one more Asylum Visitor. I guess that's it. Just fight the graveyard battle as much as we can. All right, we're on the draw. Well, okay, we got a ley line. We'll keep ley line. Go ahead, Bloodstained Mire. They can still get us with Through the Breach, but this does slow our opponent down. Faithless Looting for our opponent. Discards some stuff. Passes. Well, we draw Alms of the Vein. Hmm. Uh, Bloodstained Mire. Goo. Wait till next turn when we can Alms of the Vein. Bone it. Schlomp. And passes. Well, crack. Bloodstained Mire. Grab a Blood Crypt. Tapped. Untap. Another Ley Line. Well, play Wooded Foothills. Faithless Looting. Discard. Prized Amalgam. Ley Line. Pass the turn. Bone it. Swamp. And passes. Oh, that's not great blood gas timing. Um, well, crack wooded foothills. Grab a blood crypt. Run out asylum visitor. Yeah, we needed a land there. Another looting effect. Oh, opponent's getting close. They're getting close. Boy, burning inquiry would be sweet just to mess with our opponent's draws because they got to be getting close to through the breaching us. Opponent, passing. Well, there's black cleave cliffs. Faithless looting. Discard, Bloodgast, and, hmm, Bloodgast, Infernal Tutor. Go to combat, attack, hit our opponent, pass the turn. Looting for our opponent. We don't really have anything good to put back on our deck. Opponent, discard some stuff. Metamorphose draws a card. And, are we dead? Metamorphose draws a card. Land. Oh, yeah, now, now we're dead. Through the breach, World Spine Worm, we go to one. Yeah, I don't think there's a way we can kill our opponent this turn. I mean, maybe with some sort of miracle. It's going to have to be a real miracle, though. World Spine Worm. Oh! Replacement effect. We're still at one. Okay. Well, Faithless Looting. Discard. Alms of the Vein. Fiery Temper. Fiery. We're going to win! Oh, World Spine Worm doesn't work. Alms of the Vein, our opponent. Gain some life. Fiery Temper, our opponent. Bloodstain Mire. Get back Blood Gast. Trigger Prize Amalgam. Go to combat. Attack. Hit our opponent. Pass the turn down to seven. Okay. Opponent had one card in hand. We're out of bolt range. Bantu's Last Reckoning. All right. Well, crack Bloodstain Mire. Man, if their last card is bolt, I'm going to cry. Stomping Ground Stepped. Get back Blood Gast. Get back Prized Amalgam. Opponent. Passing. Prized Amalgam. Well, we untap Noxious Revival for Faithless Looting. Draw it. Faithless Looting. Discard Fiery Temper Black Cleave Glyphs. Fiery Temper, our opponent, and I think we got there. 
Oh, we drew our one with nothing late, but go to combat attack, taking out one of the most unfair deck in the format, and whoo, that was not bad. Well, that was not a one with nothing game, but it was a good game. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Sweet. All right, against the odds time, we are one with nothing in modern, and we got our one with nothing. We even have our Noctis revival. All right, this hand looks sweet. Um, let's... Let's just Stomping Grounds, Untapped, Faithless Looting. <laughs> Discard two prized amalgams. Boy, we could use like a, a Blood Ghast or something. Mountain for our opponent. Goblin Guide. Well, let's see what's on top of our deck. I guess a land isn't bad either. Opponent gets in. Top card is Alms of the Vein. Down to 16. Hmm. Well, let's stop on our upkeep. Noxious Revival, Faithless Looting. Down to 14. Polluted Delta. Crack it. Grab a Swamp, Faithless Looting, Discard, Prized Amalgam, Alms of the Vein. Alms of the Vein, our opponent. Go up to 16. Pass the turn. Man, we have a million Amalgams in the graveyard, but no way to get them back. We have a one with nothing. We could use a... Hmm. Hmm. Ah, this is going to be close. Oh, opponent's playing 8-whack. That might be worse for us. Burning Tree, Loyalist. Opponent, Combat. Well, we're going to need to get some creatures quick here. Gets in for three. Top card is an arc light. Okay. Well, this gives us some potential at least. Opponent passes. All right, so arc light on top. So we start with faithless looting. Ugh, discard two arc light phoenixes. Hmm. Boy, pass the turn. Take our beats. No land. If we hit a land, we could have burning inquiry one with nothing. Or one with nothing, burning inquiry. Yeah, burning inquiry first. One with nothing. And got back everything. Chief did. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Whew. All right. Here they come. That is a beatdown horde of creatures. Yeah. Goblin Guide does give us some land. Jeez. I think we have to, like, literally win this turn, though. And I don't think we can. Opponent passes. We draw Fiery Temper. Well, play Black Leaf Glyphs. Hmm. <clears throat> Burning Inquiry. One with nothing. So we can get back our stuff and kill the Lord? But then we're just out of action. All right. So we Burning Inquiry. We one with nothing. Resolves. Fiery Temper. Kill the Chieftain. Silent Visitor goes away. Yep. We do some burning inquiries. Go to combat. Two arc lights. Prized amalgam's incoming for next turn. Well, we gotta stay on defense and see. I'm not sure this is gonna be enough if our opponent has like a burn spell. Pass the turn. We finally won with nothing, but it came a bit too late. If we could have done this a turn earlier, things would have felt better. All right, so we get some prized amalgams. Opponent, mountain, and another chieftain. Okay. Yeah, that kills us. All right, all right, all right. Well, go to sideboards. Bring in two collective brutalities. Ugh, two lightning axes, maybe? Go down one asylum visitor, one shadow of the grave, one alms of the vein, and one... Eh, maybe two alms. Well, let's go down another asylum visitor. All right, run it like that. We are on the play, which is good. Hopefully, we just get an explosive start. We haven't gotten any infernal tutor draws. Infernal tutor one with nothing... Probably the best thing our deck can do. All right, we're on the play. <laughs> no discard outlets. We can kill a thing, though. Eh, all right. I guess we're going to keep. Mostly because brutality gets rid of our opponent's first threat. Eh, all right. Blood Crypt tapped. Pass the turn. Mountain. And Legion Loyalist. Opponent. And I get in for one. Mm-hmm. Down to 19. We draw... Infernal Tutor. I'll play Black Cleave Cliffs. Do we want Inferno Tutor? Inferno Tutor for Noxious Revival. Next turn, Brutality, Noxious Revival, Noxious Revival. Get back everything. Put Brutality, Inferno Tutor on top. Hmm. Or we just try to get empty handed and then Inferno Tutor. All right, let's just collect a Brutality three modes. Opponent, Loyalist, Opponent. Discard Bloodgast Arclight. Ooh. Opponent needs lands for their hand to really do anything. All right, pass the turn. 
Opponent's got one one drop, a two drop, two three drop. So they draw land. All right. So they can like Burning Tree Motivator. There's a Burning Tree. There's a Motivator. Opponent passes. Uh, let's just draw looting. Ooh. Okay. Hmm. I'll play Bloodstained Mire. Get back Bloodgast. Crack Bloodstained Mire. Grab a Swamp. Faithless looting. Discard Fiery Temper. Infernal Tutor. Fiery Temper. Kill Burning Tree. Then Noxious Revival. Get back. Hmm. I guess Collective Brutality. Go to combat. Get an Arc Light. Go attacking. Hit our opponent. And pass the turn. So let's let's just kill whatever three drop our opponent plays if they draw land. Yup, opponent. Warren Instigator. Well, I guess we gotta kill that. Oh my god. Oh no. Oh boy! Alright, we're dead. <laughs> oh lord. Uh, that's insane. Okay. That had to be the best draw on our opponent's deck. <laughs> oh, we thought we had the three drop covered, but no sir. Definitely no, sir. Now we get to kill something random, but it does it wholly. All right. Well, uh, collective brutality. Kill your lord. Get in with bloodgast. Oh, that was an insane draw. Hit our opponent. Down to 13. Pass the turn. Opponent, combat. Attacks with everything. Five, six, seven. Yeah, I guess we just got to kill rabble master. Or an instigator. Triggers. Opponent drew. Not a goblin, apparently. All right. Well, down to 11. There's a land. Opponent passes. We draw a mountain. Hmm. What do we do? So we can, like, Inferno Tutor for another collective brutality just to keep killing things? We can just looting and see what happens. That might be our best bet. Opponent's only hitting us for 3, 4. All right, yeah, let's looting. Hmm. Well, I think we got to discard one with nothing this time. And Mountain. Go to combat. Get in with Bloodgast. Hit our opponent. Pass the turn. Opponent. Hopefully they keep drawing nothing. Oh, that Warren Instigator was so insane. Opponent. Another Warren Instigator. Can get in for five. Okay. No goblins in hand, thankfully. Uh, Fiery Temper would be nice. Yup, down to six. Opponent passes. We draw Arc Light. Well, brutality, two modes. Kill Drain. Kill. They're all bad, except the token. All right, kill a Warren Instigator. Discard Arc Light. Hit our opponent. Down to seven. Pass the turn. Opponent, combat. Attacks, attacks, attacks. Down to, down to four. No goblin. Opponent passes. We draw Burning Inquiry. <sighs> hmm. All right, well, Burning Inquiry, see what happens. Uh, burning Inquiry. Camp Madness, yeah, that, that does it. Ugh, jeez, that Warren Instigator, so good. Hmm, all right. <laughs> well, we got, uh, got whacked. Whacked off. Got us. All right, uh, Against the odds time, we are one with nothing in modern, and this hand seems fine. We got two phoenixes and a fiery temper. Could have a good turn three, perhaps, perhaps, perhaps. Question is, do we faithless looting on one? Uh, let's not. Polluted Delta go. Let's wait until turn two at least. See what we draw. Opponent. Breeding pool tapped. All right, crack polluted delta. Grab a blood grip. Tapped. Untap. And mountain. All right, let's wait one more turn. Black leaf cliffs go. Next turn, faithful suiting. Fiery temper. If we can draw any one mana spell, we get back our clay phoenixes and and we're off to the races. That's a hope. Pass the turn. Potent. Thinking. Island. And passes. Another looting. That's not the worst. Well, that's faithless looting. Discard two arc light phoenixes. Play a mountain. Faithless looting. Discard land. Ugh. Actually, do we just wait? Let's discard 
land land burning inquiry opponent grow spirals yep breeding pool tapped well spin the wheel see if we get any more any more of anything eh sort of well here comes the arc light phoenixes go attacking hit our opponent opponent discarded whoa temporal mastery they're a turns deck uh-oh yeah, it's a little a little scary a little bit hinterland harbor opponent thinking coiling oracle all right hits a explore explores do they have lands land all right one land opponent passes we draw asylum visitor now well, i guess we just faithless looting discard prized amalgam discard infernal tutor actually no discard asylum visitor no madness go to combat attack hit our opponent down to eight play a land get back blood ghast prized amalgam returns and all right opponent this is it kill us if you can we have a pretty good board and we have fiery temper for next turn so we it seems like we're in pretty decent shape polluted delta unless our opponent can just go off here with turns which isn't impossible extra turn with the time warp they don't have card draw though gets in for one sure untaps land extra turn all right gets in for one down to 17 untaps Whoa! oh the magic gods have frowned upon us that's unfortunate Ugh. well we'll see that lets our opponent potentially play card draw yeah that might be the death of us the flipping of that temporal mastery very possibly is the game well, let's see if they can keep going extra card three in hand land opponent hits a time warp oh my god oh that was it that was it our opponent hitting that our opponent hitting that miracle i mean i guess that's why they call them miracles land land one card in hand is it an extra turd spell or did they fizzle opponent a million mana a million million mana wow okay they hit it here they go again two extra cards wow we got miracled we got miracled opponent explores we need him to whiff land two cards in hand do they have an extra turn spell opponent attacks well all right down to one and opponent passes well i'm sure this means they have an answer hmm well go to combat looks like pony has cryptic they do tap draw well we will faithless looting we can put our opponent to one but we can't win all right yeah oh we got miracled we got miracled good well bring in two collective brutalities bring in two destructive revelries and a ray of revelation go down uh, i guess asylum visitors um and a couple one alms of the vein two alms of the vein wow that was close so close to being so close to being uh spectacular all right we are on the play and huh. Ugh. all right we're gonna mulligan destructive revelry is so Ugh. All right, red mana. Alms to the bottom. All right, overgrown tomb go. Well, if we draw red mana, this hand could do things. Breeding pool for our opponent. Passes. Yeah, that's not a land. Well, pass the turn. Opponent. Land. And passes. All right, there's red mana. So, crack bloodstained mire. Grab a mountain and let's just collective brutal well hmm let's faithless looting discard prized amalgam discard one one with nothing pass the turn opponent grow spiral yep land untaps and island opponent uh, we have our combo but we don't have anything to get back coiling oracle opponent oh hits a land opponent in the tank passes more one with nothings well burning inquiry opponent 
flashes in a dictate. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. <laughs> That's not exactly how we wanted this discarding to go. Uh, yeah. Um, three mode collective brutality. Discard two phoenixes. Take a time warp. And. All right, about it. It's all you. Land. Cracks it. Hmm. We were so close to getting stuff back, but now we're pretty far away. Opponent. Thing in the ice. Okay. Opponent. Passes. We draw a land and a blood gas. Well, we will. Faithful suiting. Discard arc light. Discard blood gas. Play black leaf cliffs. Get back blood gas. We know our opponent has an extra turn spell, though, so I don't think this does anything. Next turn, we could potentially get our stuff back, but I think that uh, our opponent just wins here. And grow spiral, because they have at least one extra turn. They're drawing an extra card, and they get to flip thing in the ice. So I don't think we're going to get to untap again. Opponent, dictate, extra card. Ugh, that miracle in game one. That shifted the entire match. Opponent cracks, gets a land. Extra turn. Yeah, temporal mastery, sure. Counter off thing in the ice. Untaps, draws an extra card. Plays land. Opponent. Another thing in the ice. Oh, and an extra turn. All right, well, yeah. Untaps. I guess they could draw all lands. Land. Well, this is what the uh, turns deck tries to do: is get down a card draw spell and hope that you keep drawing extra turns. So, uh, this is basically what the deck is is designed to do. It doesn't always work out, but if you can get down some card draw, Grow Spiral seems like a a big addition to this style of deck. Opponent in the tank. Uh, well, maybe that's good news. I mean, if they have an extra turn spell, they just win. Uh, so maybe they don't have anything, and that's why they're tanking? Or maybe they're thinking about other things. Opponent, cryptic, bounces, flips, draws. Attacks, 4-7. Passes. Alright, dictated crew fix. So we... Well, alright. Destructive revelry or dictate. One with nothing. Fiery temper. Hit your face. Combat. Three arc lights. So close. So incredibly close. Combat. Yeah. Attack. Hit you to. This is it. Hit you to two. And see what you got. If they flip thing in the ice, it's game. Uh oh. They have another dictate. So more card draw. Well, we did our thing. That's our combo. Opponent. Dictate. We gotta hope they don't have two spells. Land. Ugh. They hit it. Yeah. Hit the extra turn spell, and that does it. Oh! <sighs> well, we did things! Our deck did things! We got blown out, but we did do things. Our record's not gonna be good, but we're playing the literal, like, one of the worst cards in the history of Magic. Maybe the single worst card in Modern. So the fact that we're doing cool things with maybe the worst card in Modern... Ah, that's got to count for something, even if our record's not good. Yeah, all right. All right, all right. All right. Against the odds time, we are one with nothing in modern. And this sounds fine. We don't have one with nothing, but yeah, I mean, spin the wheel. Spin the wheel, see what happens. What if fails? crack it? Stomping grounds and burning inquiry. Uh, okay. Oh, boy. That was, that was good. Bloody ass to Arc Light, prized amalgam. Whew, we could not have discarded better. <laughs> okay, so I'm for our opponent. Opponent's playing eight rack. Ooh, all right. Blackmail. Um, alms of the vein, alms of the vein. Wooded foothills. Opponent takes the land. Does not care about the alms. Oh, well, bloodstained mire. Get back blood gassed. Get back prized amalgam. Pass the turn. I think we're just going to leave up the ability to madness our spells when our opponent makes us discard them. <laughs> this hand is hilariously good against. <laughs> oh, 
That's massive. What is going on? Okay. Well, our hand is ridiculously good against discard, which is kind of funny. Master of Fees. What is what is going on? Our uh, opponent's probably going to have Graveyard Hate. Uh, so, although our deck naturally... Naturally, I mean, we have Shadow of the Grave. Our deck naturally just hoses <laughs> what our opponent's tried to do. Um, bring in the two Destructive Revelry. Bring in Ray of Revelation Ancient Grudge. Go down one Noxious Revival. Go down one Infernal Tutor. Go down... Alms of the Vein and Alms of the Vein? Run it like that. <laughs> this feels like a hilariously good matchup. Uh, all right. Not an exciting hand, but our opponent's going to help us fill the graveyard, so we're good. <laughs> what do you got, opponent? Deck more salvage. Sure. Um, well, let's just Bloodstain Mire. Go. Opponent. Duress. All right. So I'm assuming they... T <laughs> when our opponent sees this hand, they kind of want to just quit. Like, every one of our cards is just, like... It's cards that you can't really play in Modern, but they're cards that are just so good against a discard deck. <laughs> Bonet passing. Oh, one land still. Well, grab a Blood Crypt. Tapped. Untap. Uh, let's just Stomping Grounds. Untapped. Pass the turn. Deadlands for our opponent. Waste not. Well... This is for Graveyard Hate, but I don't like the idea of that. Blow up ways not. Oh, all right. Play a Mountain. Well, let's see what happens. Burning Inquiry. Discard. Prized Amalgam. Alms of the Fane. Hmm. All right. Well, I guess we just Madness Alms of the Fane. Yeah, all right. That was okay. Getting back land Prized Amalgam with Shadow of the Grave doesn't feel great. Pass the turn. We might just be hard casting Phoenix next turn, which I guess is a thing we can do. Opponent, passing. Yup. Well, just like we drew it up. Bloodstained Mire, grab a swamp. And how about an Arc Light Phoenix? And our opponent. Pass the turn. Raven Scrime. Um and discard Phoenix. Opponent. Passes. Blood Crypt. Well, get it with Arc Light Phoenix. Hit our opponent. Um yeah, let's just pass. Opponent's down to nine. Duress. Yeah, it takes Shadow of the Grave. And passes. Black Leaf Clef. So we are doing this not the way that we want to be doing it, but we'll, we'll take it. Arglave Phoenix. <laughs> and our opponent. Pass the turn. Schwamp. And Fairy. Okay. Opponent passes. Well, let's Fiery Temper Fairy. Get in with Arclight. Pass the turn. So now, I mean, all we got to do is cast this Fiery Temper. Or have our opponent cast a Duress or Thought Seize. <laughs> or even any discard spell. And opponent scoops it up. Well, that wasn't the plan. That was not how we intend to win. We did not draw one with nothing, but eh, all right, we'll take it. Sweet, I guess. All right. Against the odds time, we are playing some one with nothing in Modern. And, uh... Yeah, I mean, we can do things-ish. Sort of. Yeah, we'll keep. Mostly hoping this Burning Inquiry is kind. Island for our opponent. And... Pa passes. Well, Wooded Foothills. Crack Wooded Foothills. Grab a Blood Crypt. Untapped. And... Burning Inquiry. <laughs> We discarded all of our lands. Opponent. Ops. Yeah, that was that was brutal. Brutality. Uh now I don't know what we do. Steam vents for our opponent. Untapped. And passes. Do we draw land? We do. Well, play the land. Play Asylum Visitor. Pass the turn. Oh, well, opponent's got a counter. Mana League. Our opponent's playing like Grixis Control, I guess. Island for our opponent. Thought scours us. Thank you, opponent. And passes. Huh. Hmm. Now well, let's Inferno Tutor. Reveal Arc Light. Get an Arc Light. Pass the turn. Opponent. So we really need like a faithless looting. Opponent cracks. One with nothing just doesn't let us cast enough spells here. Tassiger. Mm-hmm. 
Opponent passing. We draw Fiery Temper. All right, pass the turn. Well, if we draw a land, we can just one with nothing, Fiery Temper, Fiery Temper. Like, that is a is a plan. Opponent might actually have to counter our one with nothing, but we do need to draw land. Land? All right, Black Cleave Cliffs. Bloodgast returns. Well, one with nothing. <laughs> All right. Well, we're probably the first person to ever get their one with nothing countered in modern. So I guess that's a that's a win. That counts as a win. I mean, we made one with nothing so good our opponent had to counter it. That's that's got to count for something in this crazy world of modern. Opponent gets it down to seven. We are gonna lose a game now, but we did a thing. Prized amalgam. All right. I mean, go to combat attack. Wow, that one with nothing would have been insane. We would have, one with nothing was 12 damage there, plus a prized amalgam coming back from the graveyard. Opponent, electrolyze, down to five. I mean, I think we're just dead, but untaps. Oh, so close, so close. Combat gets in, hits us. The problem is, well, we'll see. The problem is our opponent almost assuredly has more counters. That's the biggest problem. Land, can't crack it, and we scoop it up. Well, that was close. So close to being what we wanted. Really, really, really close. Bring in two destructive revelries. Go down two asylum visitors, which kind of just die to everything. And run it like that. All right, here we go. Ha! Huh. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, God. So close. All right, we get to play first. And only one land. Yeah, we gotta ship this one. All right, well, we got a Burning Inquiry. Who knows what'll happen? Land, crack it. Get a Blood Crypt, untapped. Spin the wheel. Uh, we discarded poorly. <laughs> uh, all right, we discarded our, the land. Huh, yeah. Opponent, untaps. Steam vents. Untap down to 18. Graveyard hate. That's not the most ideal. Opponent passes. Alms of the Vein. All right. Pass the turn. Field of Ruin for our opponent. And passes. We draw a Fiery Temper. And pass the turn. Opponent ops. The one land plan, especially with graveyard, if our opponent didn't have graveyard hate, I would be feeling like, okay, we're we're one draw away from getting back into this. But with one land and our opponent having a Nile spell bomb, life is life is tough. Alright, so we faithless looting, hoping to find a land. Well, discard bloodgast. Discard destructive revelry. Play Black Cleave Cliffs. Force our opponent to crack the spell bomb. Yep, opponent. Lottery Grave, untapped. So here goes our graveyard. Yep, 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 yep. Well, there's a lot of graveyard hate in the format. Sure. So we pass the tur. Well, at least we got rid of the graveyard hate spell. That is, that means future, future things could matter. Although so many counters means it's kind of unlikely. Opponent, electrolyze, and passes. Hmm. Well, Infernal Tutor. Reveal Arc Light. Get an Arc Light. Pass the turn. Opponent passes. We draw. Oh, opponent. Thought scours us. Okay. Into a land. Well, let's Infernal Tutor. Reveal Arc Light. Get an Arc Light. <laughs> All right. Arc Light Tribal. Pass the turn. Uh, so one with nothing would be good. One with nothing would let us try, assuming there's no counters, would, uh, would try to let us get everything back. Delver of Secrets. Opponent passes. All right, well, here goes. Do they have the counter? One with nothing. Okay. Yes. Yes. Doing it. Fiery Temper. If we get surgical, I'm going to, I'm going to cry. I'm going to cry. Fiery Temper you. Alms of the Vein. Alms of the Vein you. Huh. Huh! Combat! Trip Arclight Phoenix! Ah! Oh! And that's the game. 
<laughs> we did it though we did it i mean it did work out but we went off i mean it's not a win but that was that was one with nothing do we think that no other card in magic would do well i guess faith is suiting what i kind of did but still it did a thing that was really unique and really powerful yes our opponent had the answer but i mean that might be our best one with nothing performance honestly Sweet, sweet, sweet. So what did we learn this week about one with nothing in modern? And uh, overall, we played five matches. We won two of them, which, uh, that's 40%. That's below average for an against the odds deck. But we did get some wins. However, the weird thing was our wins were not exactly one with nothing matches for the most part. On the other hand, we did definitely proved that you could do crazy things with one with nothing although sometimes that ended in losing efforts the best example was actually our last match where we lost but we had just the insane one with nothing draw where we were able to get back potentially lethal or almost lethal amounts of arclight phoenixes on turn three with one with nothing but he just discard everything we had it our opponent of course had a ravenous trap so we got blown out but the thing is the ravenous trap that's not really so much a mark against one with nothing because any enabler to fill our graveyard would have got blown out in a similar way. So that's not uh, necessarily one with nothing being bad. That's just eh, unfortunate that that's how it turned out. So I feel like overall the deck, it's not insane or anything, but it can do some really cool, really explosive things. We were able to pick up a couple wins with it. When it comes right down to it, one with nothing is still a really hard card to build around. I tried really hard in different decks. There were like hollow one versions of the deck, some that were all around discard payoffs, uh, like the stuff from Amoncat that gets plus one, plus one whenever you discard a card. Trying to go that direction, I tried a bunch of different things, and I think this was the build that most embrace the power of one with nothing just because we can actually have a one with nothing nut draw the other decks they were kind of valuey they still sometimes would win or lose without one with nothing being relevant but there are more value like oh we play one with nothing we discard our hand we pump our creature plus four plus four yay we did it but this deck we actually can't have one with nothing draws they just straight up win us the game i really like the inferno tutor plan that's probably the sweetest part of the deck is the inferno no tutor one with nothing combo uh, so the deck it's really relying on the graveyard i don't think it's gonna break any formats or even be very good in formats but we did show that one with nothing can do some really powerful fun cool things and i mean that's the goal of against odds is to traditionally at least to do really cool things with really janky bad unplayable cards and even though our record wasn't great i feel like especially considering uh, the handicap we were starting off with uh, playing with one of the toughest cards in all of magic i feel like we did a pretty good job so anyway hopefully it was fun to watch hopefully you enjoyed it again another all Kamigawa poll because there's some really janky fun options from Kamigawa minus one with nothing so make sure to vote for next week's Kamigawa deck not one with nothing but Kamigawa anyway thank you for watching I hope you all enjoyed it and I will talk to you soon thanks for watching the video if you enjoyed it help us out by clicking that like button down below and to keep up on all the latest and greatest click that subscribe button and don't forget to hit that bell icon to get alerts whenever we have new videos and if you want to check out some of our other sweet videos here and here.